Hi everyone, today we're gonna interview a special guest, Uma. So Uma, do you wanna tell us a little bit about you? So my name is Uma. I am 12 years old. I like animals. I like spending time out in nature. And I like to ride horses. I like to read. And I think that is about it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So Uma, what school do you go to? I go to Galileo. Awesome. So um, Galileo is an online school, but have you ever gone to a public school before? Yes, I have. Before Galileo, I was at a public school for about four, four to five years, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, it's definitely, it's definitely a little bit different than Galileo. Yeah, so... Um... Um, here in public school, we practice more self-directed learning, but um, do, do you like public schooling or self-directed learning better? I would say, I would say self-directed because with self-directed, you can choose your classes. And I also think I, it kind of, it depends on like what program that you use to do self-directed learning but in Galileo all the teachers are really nice they're very flexible so if you maybe make a mistake or um you can't you can't do something then then they're like okay we can do this as opposed to public school they would be more like well you didn't do this so here's a a minus 10 or whatever <laughs> and um i also think that in self-directed learning you can choose what class you can choose what classes you want to go to you can oh you can be like oh i don't think algebra i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be needing algebra if i want to be a writer <laughs> i might need maybe I might want to learn this instead of this because this I don't really need in yeah, exactly. life. Yeah, as opposed to having, oh, I'm going to need this if I'm going to be a mathematician or something. Oh, I'm going to need to learn all this math because I, if I want to mm -hmm. work for NASA and um, be a mathematician for NASA, I got to learn all this math. And there are people and not just adults but also kids like oh i've done this let me let me come over and help you and i think the kids are also really flexible um yeah i, de I definitely like self-directed learning better i think in public school the only i mean it kind of depends what again what program you're using to do self-directed learning some might be in person some might be online but I think the only thing that I kind of wished with Galileo is that it would, there were in-person meetings. I know that there are in-person meetings in some places, in some places, but I think that if it was in more places, that would be really cool because I live somewhere where there aren't that many um, people that do homeschooling or do self-directed learning because it, it's a different it's a different kind of environment here so i live in the desert and i live in joshua tree and a lot of people here a lot of people here do do homeschooling but a, another lot of people also go to public schools they go to um maybe the elementary school or the middle school or the high school so I, the only thing that I really miss is probably seeing real people, getting to meet people, but also um, I'm going to be traveling to Montana. So I do know a couple people in Gala who are in Montana. I'm like, oh, maybe if they're available, I can go and say hi. So I also like with uh, Galileo that you can, if you're traveling, it's really flexible where there are different time zone classes that you can attend to because 
in public school, you can't, you just end up missing stuff and um, falling behind. But here, it's a it's more flexible, and you can, if you're traveling, you can join from different places, and there are different things to learn as opposed to just the five math, science, history, and um, reading and writing. But yeah. but here you can you can choose. Oh, I want to be an architect. Let me learn some three D modeling so that that way I can do some plans. I can see plans or um, there. There's yeah. just a lot of different options that I think is really good if you for different careers that you might want to do. Yeah. So like you, you want to be a doctor, but your school there's three hours of language art. So you don't really need that to become a doctor. Yeah. What you, you really you, want to study is science. medical things, math, science. Biology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And how do you think that, um, that kids that have been doing a traditional learning environment, public schooling, will do in a self-directed environment? Because if you start in a public school and and you have almost no freedom on what to do and when to do it. And then all of a sudden you have almost all the freedom of the world. How do you think that most kids will do with that? Yeah, I, I really like this question because I was in public school for a long time and I had never done homeschooling. We were thinking about doing homeschooling and then we're like, okay, we don't really want to do public school anymore. The online thing is just not working how they were doing it. They were acting like it was regular school online. And we would be online for like six, seven, eight hours straight and with like 10 minute breaks. And it it wasn't the same as being in person. So we're like, okay, we found Galileo. Let, let's do Galileo. And it was, I think it would definitely be a big change because from going, from, if you're in an area where, oh, okay, you're just telling me what to do, let me just do this, let me just do this, and then you go to a whole different environment where it's just, oh, I can do this or I can do this, I can do this, I think it's definitely going to be exciting and especially with the different classes, because I've told some of my old friends that are in public school about Galileo and all the different classes, and they're like, oh, I want to go to your school. Oh, I want to go to your school. But they don't. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's interesting because it, it... Okay, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-say that for a minute. Like, I've, I've told... Um, I've told some of my friends in public school, like, hey, there's this class in my school, and you can go to this, and you can go to this, and you can go to this, and they're like, they're like blown away, like, oh my gosh, you can do so many different things, and when I found out about Gale, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to do all this, I want to, I want to go to 3D modeling, I want to do debate, I want to do VR, and they are just like, whoa, that, that sounds really cool. And I think that if someone were to like kind of come in from being told what to do, I think they definitely have to make a big adjustment because I had to make a big adjustment. I had to be like, okay, wait, I need to figure out like a schedule, I got to do this, I got to see what classes I want to join every month. And um, sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle because you're so used to someone saying, okay, you're going to do this class, this class, and this class. And then you go and no one's telling you what to do. You're, they're saying you can, not you have to. And you're just like, oh my gosh, which one do I do? How am I going to do this? I got to write out a schedule. So I think it's definitely exciting. And I think it's definitely a big adjustment. And if you are okay with big adjustments and you can be like, okay, let's try this. Let's um, wait and see. I mean, I've definitely struggled with that. Like saying like, okay, wait, there's this change and this change. Oh my gosh, what's happening? 
And through my experience through Galileo, I've learned like, hey, I got to I gotta just wait and see because it might be a good change. It isn't always um, a like frightening or a bad change because I know that when the chicken format changed, I was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And now I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And I've heard that there's going to be another change. So I, I was at first like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? But I need to be like, okay. Let me just ride this out, see how it goes, and then, like, see, like, okay, like, this is okay. <laughs> it's not going to be the end of the world. Yeah. Um, trying new things. Yeah, I think that you Different definitely things. have to be able to try new things and be adjustable. Um, if you're, especially if you're going straight as, a, as opposed to, like, oh, let me just go a little at a time, like, oh, I'm in public school right now, let me just check out some of these meetings that are, like, introducing maybe people that want to join the school and kind of seeing okay I can do this or this and this let me just ease into it um, I think that it's definitely I know I said it like five times it's definitely exciting um, and you just have to be you have to be very adaptable definitely um, yeah flexibility um, is a big change definitely so do you think um, kids will learn all the life skills they need in a self-directed environment, or will they even exceed that and learn and learn way more life skills than they can in a public school or not enough? What do you think? I think I think that they're definitely going to be able to learn life skills because people when you're when you have as many classes as you have in Galileo you can learn like so much you can learn almost almost everything for almost every career that you need and in your life like if i want to if i want to be an artist there is an artist club and i think that i literally just forgot the question <laughs> what well, can you ask the question one more time do you think kids will get all the life skills that they need in um, self-directed learning? Uh, yes. No, that's simple. That's but, but, um, because there are so many options that you can do. Um, you can do art. You can do um, VR. You can do 3D modeling. There, And then there's also clubs that you can lead yourself where you can be like okay let me start this club and I think it really helps some leadership skills and then if you're learning something in your club one you're practicing leadership skills two you're also learning about nature let's say I know there is or was a nature club where you can learn about nature with other students and practice being able to lead and present yourself um, and do some public speaking. Um, so I, I think there's definitely, I think you can definitely learn life skills with self-directed learning. And do you think the traditional learning in a classroom is outdated? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure about this because it kind of depends on the student on like the student or the kid because if they want to be um, just told what to do they want to just do this do this do this and they don't really want to um, kind of do like expand from that I think that okay maybe it's better for them but I think that other kids might be like, oh, I don't really like being told what to do. Oh, this school, the, this um, SDE looks a little bit better for me because I like to do different things other than math, history, science, and reading and writing. So mm -hmm. um, I think that it is a little outdated because I think that um, they're kind of just telling you what to do. You're not thinking on your own 
as opposed to SDE, you're kind of learning how to think. You're learning how to think on your own because you have to create your own schedule as opposed to having just someone, okay, this class is at this time, this class is at this time, and this class is at this time, and you can, um, like, explore. You can see, okay, this one is, th this goes like this, and you can learn other cultures, um, and you're more free to do what you want to do as opposed to just being told what other people want you to do. Like, if the, like, the, like, the school district wants you to learn this program and this program, and you're, you don't, like, I didn't necessarily, I mean, I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it, like, a lot, a lot. I wasn't fascinated about, um, history because I was like, oh, this is, kind of weird. It's just like facts. I mean, sometimes there would be activities that would be really fun where we got to um, pretend that we were people in the um, 13 colonies and there were loyalists, there were neutralists, and there were patriots. And it was really nice to um, kind of act that out. But I think that it is a little bit outdated because I think that kids should be able to choose, okay, I want to do this, not, oh, we have to learn about this. Because now I'm in, I'm on my, I'm kind of, I'm not necessarily on my own because I have, I have friends, I have um, teachers and adults and mentors that can help me like, hey, why don't you try this? And they actually like really help. Um, and now with history, I'm watching, there's this kind of like, cartoon like educational cartoon called Liberty's Kids and it has um it it is cartoon but it does have real facts and um it's really cool to watch and we I actually found out about that from public school and I'm like oh wait what was the name of that program that was really cool so I have so right now I have the freedom like oh I remember that let me go look that up and maybe I'll do that for history as opposed to just reading history books and not really necessarily enjoying it. So I do think it is a little bit outdated because yeah. I think, yeah. It's definitely okay. easier to learn something that you're passionate about and that you enjoy. Yeah, definitely. Uh, final question. What learning experience do you think is best for children in general? I think... I definitely think self-directed learning is um, better for kids because kids are naturally curious. They're like, oh, what's this? What's this? Let me try this out. Let me try this out. And I think that, I think that pu public school, it doesn't necessarily kill that curiosity, but it definitely tones it down a little bit where you're kind of like, okay. I just got to do this and this and this. And then outside of school, you are still curious, but I don't think you are as much curious because you're kind of like, okay, I'm just doing this. I'm going to school and doing this and this and this. And before I was, I wanted to do this, but they're like, oh, just do this. Um, I think that with self-directed education, you can be like, oh, I'm curious about this. So let me learn this as opposed to being like, oh, I'm curious about this, and I'm not curious about this, but someone's telling you to be, to do something that you might not be curious about. And I think that self-directed education definitely stretches your, curio the bit. <laughs> stretches your curiosity where um, you can kind of, like, you, you're open to much more things. You're open to traveling. Um, with Galileo, it's worldwide, so you can see all over the world, like, oh, this person's in Portugal, and they they do this as, they eat this as their breakfast, and it's different. And, oh, this person in Singapore, they go like, th they will um, celebrate a different holiday. I want to learn about their holiday and how they celebrate it. Or maybe I want to do the exchange program where I want to go to England because 
I've always found England fascinating. I can do kind of an English accent, and um, I think it's it's sometimes really pretty there, and there's lots of animals and nature and horses, um, which I enjoy, and I know a couple people there where I can be like, oh, hey, what's up? Um, and I think that it definitely, I think that self-directed education definitely um, makes you more, more curious because you're open to so many different things. I agree. So thank you, Uma, um, for being interviewed today. You got some, you have some very interesting opinions and I totally agree with them. So thank I'll you see you next time. Me. I really enjoyed it. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.